welcome to the west side of Dinosaur Ridge. As you can see, just looking at the rocks, everything looks a bit different. As you're walking up Dinosaur Ridge, our full trail is about 1.1 miles if you walk all the way over and all the way back. So uh, it's, it's a little over two miles, a uh, full round trip. But here on the west side, which we call the Red Rocks side, because we have a beautiful view of Red Rocks Park. I'm looking at it now, it's gorgeous. Come and look, come, and, come out and take a look at it. Our rock layers here, as we cut around on the back side of Dinosaur Ridge, we get the chance to see how Dinosaur Ridge is tilted. Uh, it was nice and flat. Think of it like a big stack of pancakes over time. These layers were 150 million years old. They were dropped off. The 100 million year old layers get dropped off on top of that, just like a stack of pancakes as you're going. And then the mountains on the west side, this way, pushed up, took everything, tilted Dinosaur Ridge on its side. So now our bottom is now the west side, the top is now the east side, so we end up with this amazing stack of layers. So here on this side, we get a chance to see how the layers get stacked up. We also get a chance to see a different angle of the fossils that we've got here. We are going to be looking at older rocks. This is the original Jurassic Park. Uh, we are going to take a look at dinosaur bones. Uh, we have those embedded in the rock here as well. And we're going to get a chance to take a look at some weird footprints. Super weird, super big footprints. Um, so here at Dinosaur Ridge on the west side, looking at these layers. These layers are from what we call the Morrison Formation. The Morrison Formation was named for the town of Morrison, which is two miles south of here. Uh, it's kind of our hometown. A lot of really cool things have been discovered in Morrison. This is just one of them. Uh, this was uncovered when they did the road construction through here in the 1930s. But as we look at these awesome layers, we get a chance to see just cut some classic Morrison Formation sandstone. It is a deposit that is across Western North America and is iconic for the dinosaurs. It is a prolific dinosaur site. It spits out more dinosaurs than any other place here in North America. We have dozens of sites thousands upon thousands of bones of classic dinosaurs like Apatosaurus, Allosaurus, Brontosaurus, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus. We're going to introduce you to some of these dinosaurs here. But the iconic thing here is that we have nice flat layers. These layers are nice and flat until there's a moment where it's not nice and flat. This is a dinosaur footprint. Not like the ones that we saw over on the east side of Dinosaur Ridge at our main site. We're looking at these from the side. So again, remember, our layers are like that big stack of pancakes. Stuff happens on the pancakes. Pancakes got tilted by the mountains uplifting. So we're looking at our footprints from the side. Easiest way to find them is follow a layer and watch it get squished. This is where a dinosaur stepped. So this would be where it stepped in, the side of the foot, front of the foot, back of the foot, bottom of the foot. Could also be front of the foot, back of the foot. Tough to see on these impressions which way it was coming, which way it was going. But what makes this a dinosaur footprint and not a lump? That's a great question. Thank you for asking. So here we have a step. And then as we move, we can actually follow this layer. And we can see step. We follow it. Step. Step. Step and another here. So we can actually follow this dinosaur as it was walking. Patterns are a thing that are really super important to looking at different fossils versus a different structure in the rock to see if it would be something that was made by something living. So here we have a nice pattern of steps. If you come this way, we can look at one of the really big steps that we have here. We've got, again, this layer where you can see the layers bend. Remember, this was nice soft sand and mud when the dinosaurs were here. Everything was nice and flat. So this is just the immense weight of something weighing 20 to 30 tons smashing the earth. The big guy is right here, or gal, whatever you want to call it. This entire lump is a big track, about this big around. We think it came from a sauropod. Sauropod is the fun sciencey word for a long neck. Long-necked dinosaurs are very common here in Colorado. We have some of the first long-necked dinosaurs discovered. We're going to look at their bones here in just a second. But as the dinosaur stepped, this is the side of the foot, bottom of the foot, back of the foot, front of the foot. This is legitimately the front of the foot as it slopes down because dinosaurs walked on their toes. The fronts of the feet, the toe area, is typically a little bit deeper than the back of the foot, which would have been like built-in Dr. Scholl's. Nice squishy pads. If you're 30 tons, don't walk on the bones of your feet all day. So we have big, nice, round-ish feet. This is the front. And here again, you can see where the layer 
gets squished. This site is what we call our bulges because they're just big bulges sticking down here. And these are cross section, cutting across, looking at a section of the rock, dinosaur footprints.